We're live. It is the MyBookie.ag code next round Monday night matchup. Broncos at Bills. Go Broncos, in my opinion. He is Lance Taylor. He is Jim Dunaway. We're at Beefo Brady's with Bud Light, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Monday night football game. We'll uh, give you some lines, some player props. Lance'sLight.com. Got a play up, I'm sure, on this one. Uh, yeah, we've got the total. I stayed away from the side. I kind of leaned Denver in this one. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah. Wow. I kind of leaned like to Denver. See that. Uh, I think it'll be a good game. I, I don't think Denver's very good, but for whatever reason, Buffalo can't put it all together. Yeah, Buffalo has struggled. Thank you. Yeah, I heard Here's somebody talk about this you. today, and it was, I don't know if it was C.J. Stroud they were talking about, but they were saying that Josh Allen needs to be more of a game manager. And wow. Wow. What, what, what a change for uh, well, and I, I think, think Josh I, Allen needs to be more Josh Allen. Well, yeah. I just think their point was, I mean, he does turn the football yeah, over. He's very careless with it, yeah. yeah high level. Uh, by the way, if I am, uh, and I can tell, I've got a list. It doesn't just, sound as bad as you think. I just got back from the dentist. And yeah, I haven't even pump, noticed yet. Full. Oh, I, I hear it. It's like, yeah, you, you just that? You just now did yeah, that. A little the bit. Pump, um, but my whole top up into my nose is all numb, so. I apologize. You, you got the old gas at the dentist? I did get the nitrous. The nitrous is so good. Yeah. Oh, my god! Knocked you out, huh? Yeah. So, it really is. So you love Bud Light, obviously. Bud yeah. Light aside. Bud Light and nitrous and no other alcohol in your life. I think I could just do nitrous. I wouldn't want to give up Bud Light, though. But I don't think that's legal, though, just to sit around and do nitrous all the time. Probably ain't good for you. Probably not. Yeah. But do you think there's a dentist somewhere in the world that goes in there and just occasionally oh, <laughs> zero lays out. back and yeah. oh, sips yeah. a little no, gas? No, no, no. There's a yeah. dentist that is absolutely hooked on the nitrous. But I, More you know, than I one. wouldn't want it. The only reason I've I've only done it like four or five times. I've recently done it because I'm getting like a complex thing done, and in two weeks I'll be completely done with it. Really? It, it seemed like weeks ago it was like, a six month procedure. Well, so, so it, now we're we're two weeks. This away. is three. We, uh, this is three months from when I got the last one done. So yeah. it goes that quick. It was the beginning of football season. Yes. So <laughs> done it, it back. If you done it baseball season, yeah, it lasts forever. Yeah, but in two weeks, I'll be done with it. But just to relax me, because they're doing it's so complicated what they're doing. It takes like two hours every time I'm in the chair. That uh, I was just like, why not relax? I can't imagine just sitting around and doing nitrous. Like by yourself, that would be a little weird. I think you probably got a problem with that. Boy. Yeah, but yeah. it's a, it's a it's. Wait, tell I mean, me, it's tell me the high this procedure. Tell me the high because tell me it was say, 60, say uh, nine today. Say you're a you're a single, a uh, fairly attractive young dentist, and you got a single fairly attractive young dentist hygienist who's a female. <laughs> Wow. Um, I don't know where this is going to you, I'm bro. just saying. I do know, not. After hours in the office, what kind of high do you get off of this? I don't, you're hooked up on the nitrous machine, so I don't I don't know how that would work out. You couldn't. You couldn't. Uh, uh. Like, I, I couldn't. Pet second blow, so to speak, like you used I to? was just so, um, I don't know, so relaxed, and they have to fill you full of. Uh, <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fill, yeah, the Fs are really going to get me. Yeah. Fill you full of <laughs> oxygen to get you back to, to normal. Greatest Giants quarterback of all time. That'd be, uh, I'm not going to say his name. I don't like him, the CBS uh, studio guy. Yeah. I'm going to go Eli Manning. What Eli. about uh, <laughs> yeah. the national championship football coach at Tennessee? Uh, a guy uh, named Phil Fulmer. That's <laughs> really good. <laughs> if you're very deliberate, you can yeah, get through it. Yeah. Uh, other than Bud Light, who are we here representing tonight? <laughs> Folds of honor. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Hey, by the way, so uh, this weekend I was at my daughter's game. Uh, my daughter's a student in South Alabama, and it was Parents' Day for uh, sorority. So we went we went to the uh, football game, South Alabama, Arkansas State, and they honored veterans um, in a lot of the dead balls, uh, big veteran population, as you might imagine, down in Mobile. And um, there were four World War II veterans. Are you and, kidding? Uh, it's incredible, isn't it? Four Wait, World so War II veterans. Quick, Matt, they've got to be over 100, right? And one of them, uh, they, they took, gave their ages when they entered. Two of them were 17, and the other two were 18. When they entered the military and I was blown away. And I, I mean, I told my wife and my daughter, I said, they do not make them like that anymore. 17, so, 18 years old going off to save the world. Uh, okay. So I guess they could be in the nineties. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were both wheelchair bound and, mm. you know, very old and frail, uh, but were there and they honored them uh, at the first dead ball, the first half. And when they said, we're going to honor our world war one, or excuse me, world war two and Korean war veterans. I was like, we got some world war two veterans here because that, I mean, that generation has largely died off, unfortunately. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, I hate to equate it to a dinosaur because that's like a uh, not a term of endearment when you're old. But, I mean, 
that's I mean, how many more guys that have been that have fought in World War II are still walking the planet? Yeah, yeah, there were some there, man. Blown that's away crazy. to see that. It was really cool. Of course, the entire crowd stood cheer. So for we them. have the folds of honor camo cans. That's right. Both the uh, Bud Bud Light five bucks up here at Beefo Brady. So come join us. So I get the camo can for five bucks, and um, Bud Light has donated twenty one million dollars in the last 13 years to Folds of Honor. And if you do not know what Folds of Honor is, it is a uh, charity we are all uh, supportive of on this show and have been since day one of this show. Uh, it is an organization that gives scholarships to the spouses and children of the members of the military who are deceased in the line of action or uh, they're severely injured uh, in the line of action. And they make sure they're able to go to college. And they've recently added a program for first responders as well. It has been such a successful endeavor that they've been able to include first responders, which is because of your generosity and the generosity of companies like Anheuser-Busch um, that give so generously to Folds of Honor. And you can donate foldsofhonor.org. We encourage you to do that. If uh, you know a veteran or don't know a veteran, if you're just thankful for a veteran, Veterans Day was this past weekend. Celebrate that by going to foldsofhonor.org, making a small donation. Uh, every little bit helps there. And you can make sure that a spouse or a child of a deceased veteran uh, goes to college and, and it's grown into first responders yep. as well with police yep. and, and fire officers and uh, the people that respond to emergencies in our country. And when we had a choice, when we were starting this on a beer partner, that's one of the reasons we chose Bud Light. Yeah. Very generous. Of was it. what yeah. they do with those, those organizations. Yeah, we're very proud years, to be man. associated with them. Yeah. yeah. 13 years, $21 million for Manheiser Bush at Bud Light. So uh, we are very happy to support Folds of Honor and you can do that here tonight. Uh, with uh, one of the Bud Light Folds of Honor uh, uh, bottles. And um, they're, they're like the aluminum bottles. Am I right yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah. the aluminum bottles. Got the Folds of Honor logo on there. And proceeds from that uh, go to support Folds of Honor. All right, Monday Night Football tonight. Uh, Denver, I was just looking up to seven and a half now. It was seven earlier today. Uh, Denver, seven, uh, Buffalo, seven and a half at home against Denver. A total of 47. Lance has a play at lanceslike.com on the total. He's got a play. How do you feel about the total? Um, what's the total again? 47, Jimmy Dave, 47. God, everything's been under this the year. The NFL has been an under machine. Under, this year. under, under. Have you seen the numbers on that, Lance? Yeah. Especially like the Thursday night game. I think every single Thursday night game is going under. Well, yeah. last Sunday it was 10 and three unders. And yeah. it was going into the last Sunday night, it was 60% of the NFL games have, have gone under the total this year. And this is a higher total at 47. Yeah. Um, again, I took a look at Denver here. Buffalo just hasn't come together yet. If Buffalo plays their best football, they probably win this game by 21. Yeah, right? but they have been doing that. Publix, about 65% of the money is on Buffalo. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. Because as a layman not paying attention, I would easily think Buffalo. I would probably I would probably would go over because I would just think Josh Allen and Buffalo. Yeah. I think of them and I think offense. And Denver's got no defense. Yeah. They, it's gotten a little bit better, but this is the same team that gave up 70 to Miami, so yeah. they don't have a whole lot of defense. But I would have gone over in the Iowa game this past weekend at 27 and a half where it went off, and we were joking that 61% of the population was voting the under. It was 3 nothing and a half. At 27, yeah. and at 22 nothing was the final score, yeah. easily and under. Yeah, I don't know how low you got to set the total. To for get Iowa. People to go over. It's Iowa and Illinois game. this week. I mean, it's almost the same thing, right? Yeah. Illinois. Well, I don't know. You more. know, watching Illinois this past week, they're one of my 10 teams that I drafted in our Calcutta. So I, I had that game on against Indiana. That game flew over in the first half. I mean, it was a complete shootout. So I don't I don't know. What's Illinois' record? Five and five. A little disappointing. Uh, you know, they're on a backup quarterback. I mean, what is your expectation for Illinois? I don't football? have a whole lot of expectations. Well, they I mean, went bowling last year, right? They so, did, so but I, I mean, expect them to be if, One win better. If they're six and six, seven and five, I got them late. They might have been the last team I drafted. Hmm. You want some player props? You want to do some player props? You can play these mybookie.ag code next round, and they will um, they will give you that sign on match when you uh, sign on, make your initial deposit. They'll match it fifty percent up to one thousand dollars. You can play it right away. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. Mybookie.ag code. Next round. I was a little bored last night on my bookie.ag, <laughs> so I did a little four-team basketball par parlay. All right, parlay. All right, uh, with the point spreads, all of them. You know the one game that cost me. Like I had, the, I had the the right side on Towson and Robert Morris. Just guessing, you know. I mean, just a blind guess. Yeah, on Towson I had the right Robert side Morris. on somebody and somebody, somebody and somebody. All right, yeah, and big game. Somebody there. else and somebody. Yep. But it was Indiana and whoever was Indiana was playing last night. Why would you do a four team and just not do a two team? 
Lance, I was just trying to trying to win a little extra. And it was in freaking Indiana didn't cover last night. And I forget who they're playing now, but it's in freaking Indiana. Second time they burned you. It is. I remember you go back to your uh, Super Bowl. Well, day, it's right? Second time they burned me this year. Uh, I've gone to Indiana basketball twice now. And they've been disappointed. Can, can I ask you a player prop, Stephon Diggs? So I had his over, told you guys this story, over six and a half receptions, or over, yeah, six and a half receptions, over 86 and a half receiving yards right. last game out. Six receptions, 86 receiving yards. It was the first game in six games. He's gone under 100 yards receiving. I would think they'd put that thing around 90. 89 and a half. Man, you're good at that. 89 and a half minus 126 uh, for the over minus 104 for the under. So you thought it was going to be 90? I'd play the over. You'd play the over at 89 and a half? I mean, if if I'm going to play the over in the game, and I don't know if you did, but if I was going to play the over in the game, I'd play the over at that for Stephon Diggs. Well, I mean, and I probably would do a parlay if that's possible. one of the big playmakers. <laughs> I and mean, if they're going to get this thing over, one um, thing I yeah, one thing I like about mybookie.ag is you can adjust that. Well, you can. So if you want to play eighty plus receiving yards for him, minus two thirty three. That's a big number to lay for ten nine yards. Ninety plus minus one fourteen. You thought it was going to be at ninety. If you want to go hundred plus plus one oh eight. Do you think he's going to have a big game, 110 or more, 133, 120 yards, 120-yard receiving game, plus 204? Yeah, that's where you take a look at it. Yeah, So, and it goes on up. I mean, like, you can get 140-plus yards if you thought he was going to show out tonight, plus 405. So, Josh Allen, 281. Give me me one second. One second. got to go to Josh Allen. Let me uh, uncheck Stephon Diggs and check Josh Allen. Get rid of Stephon. All right, Josh Allen, what do you want from him? 281. Uh, Josh Allen, Lance, uh, his passing yards at 274 and a half minus 114 either way at 274 and a half. I don't know. I mean, I could see him go 350. I could see him go 250. One and a half passing touchdowns plus oh. 150 on the under minus 197 on the over. Yeah, it's always going to uh, be one and a half. Yeah. NFL level. Um, interceptions. Yeah, at a half. So if he throws a pick, you win, obviously. Minus 167 if you think he's got a clean sheet, plus 127 for Josh Allen. Here's my dumb gambling statement of the day. All right, I love these. If I would just bet every game this year on the dogs, would I be ahead right now? Probably. So you take the underdogs and the points you're given. Yep, both NFL and college probably would be. A lot of people tell me, though, Lance, and tell me if this is true, that in the NFL, if you're going to just play a bunch of underdogs, you may as well just play the money line. So, like, if Dunaway, if you wanted, what is there, what are there, seven or eight Sunday games that if you just, if you wanted to play all eight uh, underdogs, just play all eight money lines. I, 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 I could see that if it's four or under. Like, when you start getting into seven and a half. Well, like yeah, tonight, yeah, yeah, big number. But, yeah, if, if you're playing, so, like, if you had three or four underdogs you liked and the numbers are all three or under, just play all the money lines. Yeah. Because chances are, am I right, if you hit, Say two of the four money lines probably made money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But on Saturday, when I throw out my picks for college football, just playing around the righteous gemstones, uh, it ends up being any favorite I play is a loser. Right? Loser. Loser. So you cannot win on a favorite. Nope. If I play a favorite, they lose. Sometimes outright, but they never cover. Never cover. Who else you want? Cortland Sutton? You want a little Cortland Sutton here tonight? Uh, a little Cortland Sutton. Uh, let's put that at 65 and a half. I was going to say 74 and a half. Cortland Sutton. Uh, Lance, you're going to want to uh, listen to this then. 46 and a half is the total. Dang. 46 and a half for him. Minus they're, 113. They're telling me the Bills are going to win this game easy. Easy, Dunaway says. God, if I only had my bookie on my phone and not my laptop. Do, why do you not put it on your phone? Because it's too easy to get to. <laughs> so you you know yourself too well. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I think it's ticked up to eight since we've been on here. Really? The numbers yeah. climbing, yeah. That's yeah, because yeah. people are hammering down. You think so? Yeah. 47 is still your total, 47. Um, first half points. Well, that's combined. Uh, Buffalo first half points. Buffalo first half. Oh, no, no, no. B- Buffalo team total. My apology. Buffalo, Buffalo team, team total is going to be 28 and a half. 27 and a half. Your Denver team total is going to be 19. 19 and a half. Yep. By the way, they were expecting a sellout tonight at Madison Square Garden for this big Michigan St. John's basketball game. Uh, is there one? Can you tell? I can't tell. Hey, so I saw an interview right with Rick Patino, who was hired back in March as St. John's new head coach. And to me, there was a little Nick Saban, new Nick Saban in him. And in what way? You guys follow me. He's coloring his hair? No, he was oh. like, I love this team. I'm having so much fun with this team, and I'm living in the moment. I'm not taking anything for granted. And I think when you 
finally get at peace with that and you're a legend and you're in your 70s, you kind of work with what you've got, how many years you've got left. That's right. As far as coaching. And I think Nick Saban has recognized that. At least that's the way I feel. And watching Rick Patino, I can tell he's definitely recognized that. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll use a personal example. The other night, I knew that was my only game I'll ever call on the Crimson Tide Sports Network. Oh, you can't say that. I, I don't I, know. I mean, I, you're, you're definitely an uh, emergency quarterback, two or three. Yeah, you, you can't you say You think I'm a practice squad guy now? Yeah. I mean, you might even call a road game. Like if, um, you know, Chris is at a bowl game, say Alabama doesn't make the playoffs, yeah. Chris is at a bowl game and Bama Hoops is on the road and he can't get there, mm. you might even get a road game out of this. I don't know. I don't know. I just know You're going to be a conference play by them. I went into it that it was just going to be my only time ever. Did it go good, by the way? I mean, it went okay. I was sloppy on the play-by-play, -play, but. You know, I enjoy doing it. And any difficult names? Uh, luckily, no. Luckily, no. I was blessed by that. And I will tell you that Brown called me afterwards, and I was about to pull away, and he was like, "So how did it go?" And I was, you know, I was at peace with it and everything. Oh, and he's I, in a great mood. I could not believe it. I thought he was going to kill himself. And I smiled. All the, <laughs> I smiled all the way home. Yeah, yeah, I, I could did. tell. Do you know what Jennifer yeah. said? Jennifer's in the car with me. All right, we just left yeah. dinner, and I called, and he said. Uh, uh, I said, how'd it go? And he was talking, and Jennifer looked at me and said, you can tell he's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> you really could. You could. I, I, I just, love that. I was. I had not enjoyed myself to what you said. I just accepted it for what it was. Yeah. It was my one chance ever to do it. Well, you were probably wor more worried about failure than having a good time, right? I was, but then, uh, you know, I just got into it and, and I mean, that's realized it. I wasn't very good at it and just People did what I did. don't realize that play-by-play -play is an art. And oh, it is. You yeah. have, and you really have to get comfortable. So really difficult on your part to go in and do one. And, you know, you know, Brian Passick, but it's not like you've been on a call with him. So, right. you know, there's chemistry that is built. I mean, that's that's a difficult spot. Alabama at Vanderbilt Saturday the 6th. I don't think Bama would be in a bowl game that would conflict with that. So you might not be in luck there. Yep. The CM Newton Classic Alabama Liberty down at the uh, Legacy Arena is the 30th. I mean, you know, if Alabama's playing in a bad bowl game on the 30th. <laughs> playing a bad bowl game. <laughs> the thing you have to look at is this uh, upcoming Iron Bowl weekend. What is the uh, – You think – well, you're not going to miss the Iron Bowl for 24th, 25th. Um, let's see. The Friday the 24th, Bama at Ohio State Emerald Coast Class. It's in Destin, yeah. It's in Destin. So you think they're going to need you for that? You know, what's Chris the 25th will do that? next day? Uh, no, the next day uh, – no, 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 no. It's not until Tuesday. Clemson. Oh. Clemson in town. No, I thought that it's a two-day thing in Destin, 24th oh, oh, and 25. Oh, I'm sorry, the the schedule I have doesn't have that. Oh, Wait, I thought so they're two... playing on Christmas. No, no this, this is uh, the, this is this next, next week. weekend, Iron oh, Bowl okay. weekend, right. Iron Bowl I, weekend. I thought they played both the 24th and the 25th, like w the winner or loser, like a two-day thing in Destin. I, I mean, I don't have that on my ca on my schedule here. So uh, you'd miss the Iron Bowl to go do that. I mean, no if I'm way. Gonna help Not out a my chance. help out my friends at the Crimson Tide Sports Network. Well, first of all, I wouldn't all, miss the Iron Bowl. It wouldn't be on at the same time, but it'd be like. Following Do you know football. how long that football broadcast is? I mean, like, if that's a 2.30 kick, the and the Bama game is a 2.30 kick, it won't be over until 6. They'll linger on the air until 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Now, there's no way. You'll be on, like, some random station in Tuscaloosa. That's the only place the game will be on. No way you go do that. Yeah, you got to tell them no on that one. Okay. Well, no, Chris can do it because Eli is uh, – Eli will be doing the Iron Bowl. Oh, I thought he only did home games. Uh, I would think it are. I think it was home game plus Iron Bowl. Yeah. Really? Yep. Well, I mean, that's an easy drive down to it. It's just easy to drive to the Iron Bowl for Eli as it is to, I mean, to Auburn as it is to Tuscaloosa. Hmm. Um, NH3425 hopes the Broncos builds an entertaining game. Probably won't be, though. Well, we've had some bad primetime games. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, they've built in so many Jets games this year for primetime games. I don't know what they felt this Broncos team was going to be when they picked this game in the offseason. Well, offseason. they thought Sean Payton would turn it around really yeah. quick, right? Well, he did not. He did not. This that, is the, that offense is better than the Jets' offense. No, I would agree. I is this the second primetime game of the Broncos already? Uh, didn't they have a Sunday night game? I think they had a Sunday night game at some point. But the Jets have had a lot of primetime games. That's why the primetime games have been so bad. Um, was it Broncos and Chiefs? I thought that was a CBS game. Maybe so. Hal said he took the under 47 and a half. He's playing the under. So Lance'sLock.com, Hal, if you want to get Lance's opinion on it. That's a trend. He took the under. Um, 
Let's see. Will says, LT, do you believe Saban retires after the season? You've been saying that all along that you think. Do you still feel that way? I'll still lean that way. Yeah. And especially, I mean, like, I think they have a legitimate shot of winning a national championship. You know, though. I saw today updated odds, mybookie.ag. I'm so pissed. I, look, can I guess? Because I could have well, got. Hang on. Let me pull this up. Alabama at 14 to 1 last week. Uh, though, I, that ship has sailed. Oh, yeah. I bet it's down to 9 to 1. You're going to have to give me one second. Yeah. Um, eight to one, nine to one in that neighborhood, but it was fourteen to one last week. Yeah. Uh, let's see, college football. And what would a general know. better put on that? A hundred, a thousand? I mean, whatever you feel comfortable betting. If you so bet a hundred dollars a game, yeah, put a hundred on it. If you bet a thousand a game, a thousand. So if you put a thousand on it and it's fourteen to one, what does that pay? Uh, simple math, don't make fourteen thousand dollars. Wow, that was such a that is that's like free money. Uh, national championship odds right here from uh, mybookie.ag. I'll say plus 850. Michigan is plus 210. Okay. Ahead right. of Georgia. So that's that's yep. basically a, a shade over two to one for Michigan. Georgia is plus 240. So that's not even two and a half to one. So Michigan and Georgia are basically the same. But still two to one. Ohio State's probably going to be next. Nope. The Alabama Crimson Tide. Wow. Alabama at mybookie.ag is plus 650, so they're six and a half to one. Not speaking for Alabama fans. Cut in but, half. Yeah. But don't you think that um, you should just let the odds makers in Vegas pick the playoff teams? Well, Ohio State is plus 800, so your playoffs would be right now Michigan, Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State. But Michigan and, and Ohio State, Georgia, and Alabama will knock one another out. Yeah, but those might be the four best teams in college football. Well, according to Vegas, they are right now, right? Yeah. Then Oregon. Oregon is plus eight fifty, so they're eight and a half to one. So, so basically, you're telling me we're going to get quarterfinal games, basically with Washington, Oregon, yep. Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, and then Florida State and Texas should have to play each other. I know Florida State is plus nine fifty, so nine and a half to one. Washington thirteen to one. Texas twenty to one. Boy, Texas. I mean, you want to talk about a team leaking oil? They're at twenty to one. That's a team that controls their own destiny. Even yeah. Vegas says they're 20 but, to but one. But if the two upsets that I think are going to happen this week happen on Saturday night, then Bama's path is wide open. All uh, they got to do easy. is win out. Yep. So Alabama third right now uh, in the odds at mybookie.ag. And that's across the board. That's not just some random mybookie.ag. I've seen it other places. Yeah. So you, you say all they have to do is win out. That's win at rival Auburn. Yep. And beat a team that will be on the SEC's but longest win streak in history I, by the time they play. We were asked about this today. What would the Georgia uh, Alabama line be in the SEC championship game? And I saw Circus Sports released the first one I've seen actually released at three. Uh, yeah. You I'm, said five. I said five. Is it three? So, I mean, that's Alabama, a three point dog in the SEC championship game right now. Where do you think that would go off? Mm, I, I think you probably get some public money on Georgia. It really depends on how they play it down the stretch. Like, yeah. If Georgia struggles, you know, in Neyland this week and Alabama blows out Auburn, then probably get a split. That would be close to even money, I would think. Yeah. I wish wow. I could find. Uh, I, I haven't seen an Iron Bowl. I, I think I saw 10 and a half earlier today for the Iron Bowl, uh, which is down. I mean, the preseason number was 14. And Alabama right now is probably playing about like you thought they would in the preseason. They're finally to that level. So that shows you that Auburn has maybe played a little bit better in Vegas's eyes recently to have that down to 10 and a half, right? I don't know where it'll open. I mean, that's a limited number line, as is the line I just gave you. Um, Ball fan 205, I got a name for Mississippi State. How about Dave Clawson? Does something different. He develops quarterbacks well. I love Dave Clawson. Unfortunately, I think at 55, I think he is. I don't know if Mississippi State would take a look. Yeah. Uh, you think they're going to go younger? Probably. Dave Clawson to Northwestern, would you do it? No. If you're him? I think he's got the Northwestern job right now. He's actually probably got a better job than Northwestern right now. Dave Clawson to Michigan State, would you do it? Oh, I would do it if I was him. Just because of the money. Yeah. Most people think he will move on this time. Yeah. Because the, the facilities and the financials I at would. Wake Forest are not good. Yeah, I would definitely. Um, Land My Believer says he wish he could have gotten Bama after the USF uh, USF game. What do you think that number was after that? Was that when it was fourteen to one? It was higher than that, probably probably twenty to one, right? Yeah, the the best you could have got would have been right after Texas, which is twenty to one, probably eighteen to one, sixteen to one, eighteen. Yeah, to 1. and it did not drop much coming out of that USF game because Bama no. didn't look good in that. But one. you you didn't bet that Land My Believer because you didn't believe in them. You gave up. Yeah, I you did didn't too. Um, 
NH3425 says he's seen Caesar Sportsbook with Bama minus 11 and a half for the Iron Bowl. Lewis since the 19 Iron Bowl. I think it's about right. That feels like a good line, right? Yep. 10 and a half, 11 and a half, somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll be able to play that game at mybookie.ag code next round, mybookie.ag code next round. All right, since you've got a uh, just to play on the total at lanceslike.com, you feel like what happens on the side in this game? Uh, I am going to lean. This is going to be right around the number. I think Buffalo wins this game by a touchdown. Now, I do have two college basketball plays up. I've got Purdue. Uh, 26 consecutive non-conference wins for the Boilermakers. Yeah. Laying a big number here, 17 and a half against an undefeated Xavier team. Is it under underway already? Uh, I don't think it is. I think it tips at 7 o'clock. West Lafayette playing at home where they've won 22 consecutive non-conference games. So it's a legit ro- uh, home game. Yeah. And they yeah, they've their, their last two outings they've jumped out 11 nothing and 15 nothing. So they get out to quick starts. You need that if you're laying that big number like 17 and a half. But I've also got two games in the association tonight. So in the NBA so far, we're 12 and 6 this year. So 12 and 6, 66% quick math there and we've got two plays up. So five total plays. The total tonight Produce your free play, lanceslock.com, coming off that 10 and 3 Saturday for you. Have yeah. the Celtics lost yet? Yes. They finally did. Yeah. So a 10 and 3 Saturday, and there was a little bit of confusion. Let's let's talk about this real quick before we go on what happened Sunday. Uh, there was an unfortunate snafu where you were playing the Patriots, but the the game kicked before everything got put in place there because it was such an early kick. Well, what happened? There was so little it, was, it, was, it was two different threads. I sent yeah. the plays on Saturday to the wrong thread. Taylor was on that thread, so she got it, but she wasn't able to post it till 9 a.m. The game kicked at 8.30. Right. Lunsford didn't get it, so he never posted it. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you uh, – what we're supposed to do in that situation. It was a loser. I don't care. I mean, we can own it. Yeah. Nobody played it. Nobody was able to play it because no. it didn't go out, but some saw it on social media, but it did not go out until after the game on social media. So uh, I just wanted to make that clear. It's it's that's why what happened with the Patriots happened. Yeah. It was just a little communication error. Those Germany games are tough or those European games are tough. Yeah, and I there. typically stay away from them just because of that. Yeah. There are a lot of people that get so confused with the kick times. Yeah, and, I forget uh, they're on. Yeah, and I gave it out, you know, early on or earlier on Saturday night, but uh, I sent it to the wrong thread. I have since deleted that thread, so that can't happen again. But uh, that was on me. Yeah, sure. Eight thirty Sunday morning is premier soccer time for me. I forget NFL's on. That yeah, F one racing. I, I remember what? the one time the Rams played in this game and getting up at eight in the morning. It just it's not the same feeling. No, nope, it is not. I watched the Dolphins game that uh, last Sunday morning, Dolphins Chiefs, and that was one of the best games of the day uh, as far as matchups go. Ended up twenty-one to fourteen, Chiefs. Just did not. Have, it felt like an exhibition game with starters playing. I could not. I really, you know, it was weird at the start of it. It felt like a much bigger game. They did the anthems, had the flags on the field. They did the German national anthem. By the way, really weird. Yeah, I mean, watching a game with the German national anthem. I said that when the Buccaneers played over there. Yeah. I was like. No matter, I know they're singing with smiles in their faces, yep. but hearing them sing in German, you yep. just go right back to every World War II movie you've ever seen. I know. I'm like, we're not, we're not gonna hold hands up or anything, are we? I mean, yeah. like, there's no salute. Yeah. You just can't change your language. Yeah, I mean, because anything in German just sounds angry. Yeah, it's it a does. very angry language, and they're doing the German national anthem. They're all a, singing together, and anytime those people sing together, I get I know. worried. I know. I was like, are we gonna get my dolphins back home safely, or my dolphins gonna be able to return home? They did, fortunately. Uh, but as the game started, it just felt like an exhibition game. It did not feel right. No, Ma- it was ma- very weird. Matching boots on Sports Center. You think they showed up and looked at each other like oh, the, yeah. the Spider Verse? Why yeah. did you wear your boots? I told you <laughs> I was going to wear my boots. Uh, yeah, matching boots. I mean, having two anchors show up with I boots know. over their knees. And then make them do the stand up shot. Yeah. yeah. You said you were thinking about Michigan St. John's tonight. Which side were you going to go with? Uh, I like St. John's early and then I pulled back. Okay. Michigan up 28 25. Yeah. St. John's taking it in there, though. Dwan Howard uh, out. Phil Martelli, the uh, former St. Joseph's head coach, is uh, filling in. Yeah. Why? Uh, suspension? No, he's he's <laughs> you just assume a Michigan coach is suspended. No, he's he's uh got some kind of ailment. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, Jim. I mean, got some kind of ailment. Jawan Howard v. Rick Pitino. Is that a coaching mismatch, you uh, think? I would say yes. I mean, Phil Martelli's actually closer. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, but still a bad coaching mismatch there. So, anyway, St. John's was minus two and a half. 
I think is where the number settled out. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I stayed away from it. Down, it's a hell of a game so far. Yeah, down yeah. three early. It's uh, our down one now, 28-27. St. John's with an and one uh, situation at the line right there. This is the uh, – this is when everyone starts – Oh, Rick Patino is coaching St. John's, and he just got a big win over Michigan. This is when it all starts tonight. Yep. I, I love, this. I love him coaching at the Garden, though. That's, I mean, that's what drives him, right? Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's why he took that job. Iona was never going to yeah, play. You at know, the Garden. And, and back when Lou Carnesecca had this program dialed in, those games in the Garden were so big. Yeah. You know, because their campus, I guess, is Jamaica, New York. But these hey. games, and remember, on coming to America, they went to a, a St. Right. John's game. Yeah. Were there, was it St. John's Seton Hall? Do we know who they were playing? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Seton Hall sounds right. Yeah, I think it was the St. John's Seton Hall game in coming to America. But their 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 on campus facility holds like three thousand people, and I think basically Rick Pitino was like, uh, "We're not playing games here. My games are going to be at the Garden." Yeah. I think it'd be cool to go to school in New York in the city. Do you? Yep, I do. Yeah, I don't in, know, man. NYU. Yeah. No, you don't get a lot of college football there. That's maybe, the maybe not as an eighteen year old, but yeah. I mean, oh, wh- why not? That's when you'd want to go as an 18 year old. Mm, I mean, if you got a good fake ID, maybe. <laughs> you think they card hard in New York? It doesn't seem like they card hard. I don't know. Like they law got, and got, order. Law they and got order. So many people, though. Like, I think the people that don't card hard are the ones that need the business. Yeah. Like, uh, like Lenny and them. You think they'd ever arrest anybody for, for a fake ID? For, uh, serving the underage drinks? No. I, I doubt it. But you do have the uh, ABC board that does that. I don't know what it is up there. Uh, NYCB board. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Beefo Brady's. You can still swing by here and support Folds of Honor. Get one of those Bud Light cans with the Folds of Honor logo on it. Bud Light is going to donate money to, to to Folds of Honor no matter what. They've donated $21 million. So don't make it sound. I don't want to make it sound like you got to come buy a can for them to donate money to Folds of Honor. They're doing that either way. Uh, but you could support a brand that is donating Folds of Honor, and that's what it is with Bud Light. $21 million over 13 years. Foldsofhonor.org, if you want to see more information on that worthy cause. They make certain that the uh, spouses and children left behind by our military that are killed in the line of action or they're disabled in the line of action, they make sure they're taken care of. They uh, ensure college scholarships for those kids and those spouses. That is a worthy charity. I mean, a lot of people look at a charity. They may not be able to get behind that as an American. You can be 100% behind that charity. Those are the people, the veterans, that are making sure you keep your freedom. Freedom is not free, and they make certain you keep it. And uh, let's take care of those that are often forgotten, the family members that are left behind. They do that with Folds of Honor, and uh, you can make a donation at foldsofhonor.org. Support Bud Light, who supports Folds of Honor. Uh, $21 million over the last 13 years. You can do that here at Beef O'Brady's. You can also play tonight's games. MyBookie.ag, code next round. MyBookie.ag, code next round. When you use code next round, you make your initial sign-on deposit. They give you a 50% match up to $1,000 at MyBookie.ag, code next round. Lance'sLight.com for plays as well. Remember, we'll do this again Thursday night with our friends at Bud Light. We'll be at Top Golf. So come on out to Top Golf 5 to 7, a little longer on Thursday night, 5 to 7 with our Bud Light game night. That's right. We'll be live six to seven at Top Golf, talking about all the weekend action and maybe even hit a few golf balls. Um, I think we'll be out on the bay this time at Top Golf because it'll be dark. Yeah, the I sunset right. has the sunset has yeah. affected us. We've had to stay inside because of the uh, lighting. Um, but when it gets dark early, one of the byproducts is we'll do our show out on the bay this time. Oh, that's so, exciting! Um, yeah, we'll have the, we'll have all the golf shots behind us there. With uh, we may even hit a few. Rain in the forecast, I think. Yeah, but we'll be undercover, though, so okay. we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. Undercover, fake mustaches, and yeah. glasses. <laughs> so we're going to be looking over the over Can we the get edges. a lot of rain this week? Uh, there's a chance we're going to get some rain. Yeah. I think it's Thursday into Friday. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's going to do it from Beefo Brady's at the Grove. Thank you for joining us. Go to mybookie.ag, get signed up, play tonight's Monday night football game, mybookie.ag, code next round. We are back live with you 9 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, right there on the next round. Have yourself a fun night. Enjoy Broncos and Bills. This time of year, it seems like we're live with you all the time. Seems nonstop, doesn't it?